well. Um, congratulations. Um, can you just, um, I guess, tell us one, how you're feeling about signing with the Saints and two, what role what roles you've played in the past and, and that you feel like you're going to play for the Saints? Um, start off being able to sign is just, is a definitely a great opportunity. Uh, definitely a sign of relief, uh, feelings of relief just to see that my hard work continue to pay off. Definitely excited to get down there and get to work. Um, as for specific roles that I paid, played before in the past, um, I guess a lot of people know me for my run stopping ability and stuff like that, but I'm definitely able to get, get after the passer. Hey, you've had such, somewhat of a non-traditional path uh, leading back to college. What did that teach you, what you went through in, in college? My biggest thing was just uh, perseverance, perseverance and delayed gratification. Uh, those were two things that I knew with my path I was not going to uh, or I would have to come to terms with um, on a daily basis for sure. So being able to just continue to grind, put my head down and wait for my opportunity, didn't know where it was coming all the time. But sometimes I think that makes for the, the best case scenario. Because you always have to be ready. Nathan, when you uh, when you came together for the Saints, was there anything in particular that stood out, whether it was Dennis Allen or Todd Granham or anything meeting with them? What would it really specifically attract to you about the Saints? I think what attracted me most was just the increased opportunity. Um, I went through free agency last year, and uh, they definitely showed some interest then. Uh, it just wasn't the right fit at the time. But for them to come back um, this year, with the uh, the needs that they do have on defense, it was uh, it's just very very obvious, very strong offer, and I was uh, more than happy to oblige. Nathan, how much do you know about this defensive line and and the style of play that they want to play and have played? Uh, definitely, I know that the, their entire defense, not just the defensive line, but their entire defense. Uh, there's a standard. There's a standard when it comes to the Saints. It's definitely one of the strengths of their entire team. And this again, just another reason why I'm excited to, to be there. You used the word opportunity earlier. How much do you weigh opportunity and there being an opening because the Saints did lose two defensive tackles before you signed, but also joining a team that's already top notch? You know what I mean? Like balancing where you mm -hmm. can play right away versus competing for a spot. Well, I mean, I'm of the belief that there's always competition. Even if you don't see it, there's always competition. From the moment you sign on the dotted line, there's always competition. Whether that person is in the building, not in the building, whatever it is, it's you know about you coming in and being at your best. That's my mentality coming in, going in. Um, and I understand that that's what you know other players in that locker room are also feeling. And I believe that adds to our overall success. Nathan, what was it like for you growing up in Ajax, Ontario? Uh, you ended up at Simon Fraser University. What was it like playing football there? And how did you end up at Fort Hay State? Uh, growing up, Ajax, Ajax um, in Canada, it was, uh, I mean, it was, just, it was just home. It was for me, it was just an opportunity to come play ball, win high school, things like that. Um, I guess what I did see about the U.S. is just how much more developed their resources are towards football, funding, programming, things like that. So those were things that I kind of had to go without uh, being in Ajax. Uh, there was a lot more private ball as opposed to playing in high school. Um, so when I was able to finally get a scholarship at Simon Fraser, great opportunity, really excited about that. Um, you know, did the, I was there for, for two years. Uh, it eventually didn't end up being the right fit for me or and things that I wanted. There's a few things that were lacking. Um, I still, to this day, believe that um, the best opportunities for athletes are going to be in U.S. programming just because it's just so much further developed and, and far along. So uh, eventually it was just in my best interest to leave the program and try to find a way to get to a U.S. program. Who recruited you then at Fort Hayes State? Who was the coach at the time? Wide receiver coach Al McCray. Al McCray, 
Um, he and I go way back. I actually just talked to him uh, not too long ago because we definitely still stay in touch. But uh, he was the person who originally recruited me um, and then actually kind of helped me through the whole uh, NFL process um, my senior year. Anything else? Oh, one more. Uh, what are some strengths that you feel you bring to the team and like your selling point? Uh, definitely, definitely, I've, you know, people have talked about my ability, just my stoutness in, in the run game. And, you know, that's something I definitely pride myself in. That's something I enjoy, uh, to do and the ability to contribute for sure. But, uh, aside from that, probably my mindset, how I approach, um, taking care of my body, how I approach preparation for the game, the way I'm in the locker room, the way I am in the weight room. Uh, just my work ethic, because I guess, my again, my journey has been different. So it's required a lot of work. It's required a lot of discipline. And it's required a lot of patience in order for me to get here. And those that's kind of just what I try to live by when I'm striving for uh, a new goal, really, is to work hard, be patient, and be consistent. Thank you. 